Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. FaZe versus Denial continues They're in the Pro League. FaZe getting hit with all kind of issues. It's been internet problems. Couple, and uh, now playing with Gunja as a fill in. And with that knowledge, I'm honestly going to go ahead and say Denial should close this game out 3 0. Uh, you'd assume so, but it looks like FaZe should be able to get on the board here first. It's going to be a happen with that. There's actually a pass, it looked like. Play should be able to dunk that one in for two. He's going to put it in. Denal trying to get Zuma out of the back of their face, but he is just on fire right now, Ben. All right, let's take a look at Koo. At 0-1, of course, filling in. Gonna play for that drone. And school control is gonna be pretty much key for them, but replays with a team kill on Slasher. He's gonna fall Zuma down. Full plays dead, Who with the drone. As lead slayer in form of Slasher in front of him, and honestly, Denal should look good to reply with a two-point player of their own. Sticks to the wall, but oh. players seem to be having some issues walking forward thus far. Yeah, he was actually stuck to the wall right there for a second. I thought it was going to impede him. Not able to score, but was able to put that one home. Now, as you saw, Zuma was in the Denal base. Slasher doing a nice job in the phase base, but the drone is going to go over the Denal side of the map. Can Clay make anything happen? He is going to get dropped by replays. You see replays. going to take the drone, throw it over towards mid-map, just trying to get it out of his own base. So, game tied at 2-2. Zuma with drone control and should be good to throw in for a one, but nope, cut down from behind. Slasher had the drone. Uh, actually, went back towards his own base to throw that one out. Kind of caught a touch off guard. I don't think he really expected that. Replays now. He's going to throw that one in for yards. And he actually has a teammate behind enemy lines. That's going to be Temp. If he can uh, pick up a couple of kills here and go for that drone, this could be another two point play. It's going to be Huku who has it. And uh, now should be able to jump that one in for another two point play. They now lead 4 2 on the front. I actually love the decision for Temp not to pick up the drone. I mean, he has an AR in that position, doing a nice job slaying out. Let Hook pick the drone up and then put it in for a score. And it's going to be replays passing it over to Hook. Hook going to pick it up. He's going to dunk this one in for another two points. So Denal from bad side starting to rally some points. It isn't even Gunja who's kind of playing slow off the stop of phase. It's Tatch. Three and seven performance from him. Not quite good enough. Uh, Replace does have the drone again. Uh, he's going to make that way through green. Uh, actually, escapes, turns around, misses two beat downs, and then falls. Attach able to pick up two kills relatively easy. Slashing now with drone control. May look at trying to get that one away, but unfortunately, it's going to fall. Zuma now has it. And uh, he's making his way back into towards school. He's going to just sit in school with the drone. Has one player trying to push him. Tatch is able to pick that up. Tatch trying to lead Zuma to a score. He's going to pick up another one on his way. Is Attach getting another one in the kill feed as well? You can see Attach on a three streak. Clay on a two streak. Zuma trying to rotate back towards the drone. He's going to get cut down. But some big plays right there from Attach. You see the drone was thrown into the phase base, though. Temp should be able to pick this one in, throw it in. So Denial answers back strong. Yeah, this house for all over the phase. Uh, another two point play and it will stop the clock and oh my god there's still a lot of time left to play. I mean how many times have you seen a team dominate on bad side for a minute 50 on, on the clock? I mean that's very very impressive. Replays has to run. I think he's going to try and sink for one. Connects with it 9 to 4 now with a minute 38. Temp still in phases face finally goes down and this time someone else from phase is disconnected. Yeah attached. He's going to get disconnected. Clay going to pick up the drone. So now Bay is going to have to play that man down yet again. So difficult for them here tonight. Yep, it's not been made easy at all. And um, replays with the drone. And he's going to try and uh, put a stop to the pain for FaZe. 3 minute 43, time to beat. Yeah, 3.43. Nope, not a ton of time for FaZe to if beat it from bad side this, and man down. That would be uh, will give you a will give you $100 yep. for open cases on CSGO. It's unbelievable, but uh, FaZe really struggling tonight. It's unreal. I kind of feel sorry for them. Oh, well, yeah. You can go on board with FaZe, see what happens here in the second half. I mean, the game's over, man. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. It's, it's, it's impossible, man. There is more chance of me spawning in and, and dropping a 50 bomb to FaZe winning this game. Snap 12-4. Yeah, it's a tough series if you're a phase. I mean, they come off a great weekend now. Some internet troubles tonight. It's uh, no, only going to be their second loss of the season, so not too, uh, not too bad. Play well, does have drone in hand. Going to fall two plays down. Three minutes left. Props to Zuma Goon and Clay staying in the game, trying to make it 
somewhat interesting, but playing a 4v3 competitive level, there is pretty much zero chance of winning. Now it's just down to, in fact, okay, are we going to disconnect as well? Oh. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. Slasher's got the drone. Cool. Fun times. Everyone timing out. Yeah. Game number one. Pretty, uh... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for that one. Yeah. It's going to be it. For now, quick commercial break. On return, game number two of the evening.